So um, as far as medications go, I know that with things like um, sickle cell, for example, uh, patients go into um, the emergency room and they sometimes have trouble getting their, their pain medication managed. Is this where are patients usually receiving their kind of pain treatment from? Are there some topical options for them or is it always kind of a, you know, a, a pill? How, how does that work? And does it come from dermatology or does it come from primary care? And honestly, we should all clinicians should be um, comfortable managing pain. Um, in HS. So not just, it, it would it would be unfortunate for patients to wait to see a dermatologist, you know, before their pain is managed. So, you know, we encourage primary care, urgent care, emergency room facil- um, facilities to manage patients' pain because a lot of these patients have acute pain with their flares. Mm-hmm. So as far as patient age goes, you talked about this happening um, kind of typically after puberty, are, is there a pediatric population for HS at all? There is. There is a pediatric population for sure. And as we know, the age of puberty is 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 getting is earlier and younger, right? Mm-hmm. So, but then those patients who have a family history of HS, so either you know mom or aunt or sister, those are the patients that are also more likely to have HS onset at an earlier age. So even patients as young as ten you know, 12 are are getting these um, symptoms. Is there any type of kind of intervention strategy when you know that someone has a family history of HS and they maybe have flare-ups younger? Does the kind of process of treatment and addressing it, it, does it prevent further flare-ups in the future at all? What's the process with that? So we're still learning more about this, but there actually was a recent study that showed that patients who were women who were started on oral contraceptives at an earlier age were less likely to have more severe HS disease. So that's one way to target this. So if you have a young patient who um, is getting flares and you know around their menstrual cycle, you could place them. We could place them on an oral contraceptive to help manage those fluctuations in their hormones and potentially decrease or slow down the progression of the disease. And then how do you treat other special populations, for instance, with with pregnant women where we know hormones are are changing and flaring a lot, they're breastfeeding and things of that nature? What's what complications and and kind of factors come into play with treatment? So, yeah, so that's a special population. So we have to be careful which medications we use um, for patients who are pregnant and patients who are nursing um, so as not to affect the fetus or, you know, an, or a baby who's being nursed. Um, so there are certain antibiotics and certain hormonal modulators that we cannot use during pregnancy. So we focus more on the tried and true antibiotics that are safe in pregnancy. We can do small local surgical deroofings if, you know, if if the obstetricians um, are also on board. We work very closely with obstetricians when we're taking care of pregnant patients. And it's great that we have a database where we can see which medications are safe to use in pregnancy and um, lactation.